on Monday, I showed you both the shopping cart. Oh man, I forgot the name of it again. Shopping cart cover. Why can't that stick in my brain? That I had cut out 15 years ago and not finished, not started. Started, well I started it by cutting it, but I hadn't done it. Or, and the uh, crochet shawl. And neither one of them sounded very exciting. So, um, I dilemmaed and I dilemmaed and I dilemmaed. And then I think I kind of just in my head said, this is ridiculous to pick one. And at first I said, uh, I tried to crochet a bit on the pattern and I really didn't want to. So I um, decided, you know what, forget it. I'm gonna rip this out and I'm gonna do something easier. I'll still do Tunisian crochet, but I'm gonna do an easier project. And I found a project and I downloaded it, and then it was too much work to have that project on my um, on my phone, and I didn't want to have my, I wanted to watch TV, let's be fair. I wanted to watch TV, and that was on my laptop. So I got out the shopping cart cover, and I began the stitching process. So first, right sides together, I went all the way around with my little needle and thread, and stitched it and then um, I left an opening I turned it right sides out I um, stitched they said three quarters of an inch from the edge I've stitched a little closer which means that the the elastic goes in here so I'm gonna get some half inch elastic and run it around the outside of this modifying modifying I then took the bias binding that they had us cut out of the fabric and I sewed it around the inside of the legs. This needs a good press, obviously, because it still needs to be, it's a little uh, rolly. But, so the leg openings are done, and the waistband is done. And um, what I have to do next is make the pocket, and, which requires yet another piece of bias binding, and attach it. I also have to cut out two buttonholes right here and here, and I'm going to hand bind those to put strapping through so that when um, Theo is in the shopping cart, he's strapped in. And then, uh, and it goes around, and it goes around the bars of the shopping cart seat, and um, finish the pocket, and then this the bag, and this little baby will be done, ready to go, finished that quick, not that hard. Why did I avoid it for 15 years? <laughs> So now I'm going to stop on this, though, because this has to go in my suitcase because we're packing up today. We are spending the day out, um, but it's going to get packed up because it's too bulky for me to carry around, mostly because I have a pair of overalls so that I can be warm when we hit frigid Portland again. So this is going to get packed up, and I'm going to move over to the either my new projects or I'm going to move over to the crochet shawl that I am now going to rip out the old and start the new one. I'll bring both of them because they don't take up very much space. But that's it from Hawaii. All the projects I got done, the super secret project, uh, the mittens, were done. I started, what, three or four more? And um, I will next see you from the UK at Granny's house in Wales. So we'll see what kind of unfinished shenanigans I get up to. Maybe we'll dig into Granny's unfinished projects. That would be fun, right? Now you get to see my face. My, my phone is filling up. I'm going to have to throw some stuff away. Uh, at Granny's house, maybe we'll get into her unfinished projects if she feels up for it. She's quite ill, has had surgery, so we'll see what she's feeling up to. Otherwise, it'll just be me popping in twice a week as usual. Um, we're heading home today, so um, I'm going to pack all this up. And, um, oh, I wanted to say, um, this pattern will be available now <laughs> for the next person that wants to cut it out and leave it and leave it sitting around for, uh, 15 years. So, um, it's going off, it's being offered to you first, uh, Valerie, because I know you make baby stuff for your friends and there's nothing better than somebody who doesn't have kids to make stuff for people who are having kids. So if Valerie, if you'd like this pattern, let me know and I'll send it your way. It is not going back in my stash. It wasn't that hard. It's super easy and super fast, especially if you don't follow the instructions. Um, 
And then next I'm going to show you um, two projects that Tony sent me. I'm putting them right up here. Uh, Tony has a bark cloth jacket that they need to finish. Amazing, isn't it? That my little shopping spree tipped off some memories. So hopefully Tony's going to get on that. And then um, there was something else she sent. I'll put it up right here. And then I'll type what it was that she said. But my brain is mush because I just woke up and there has been no coffee yet. So I'm going to go downstairs. But we have to check out today. So I'm not going for coffee and then leisurely hang out in the room. I'm going down with my packed bags. All right. I will see you on Monday. And I will be at Granny's house on Monday. So I hope you have a good weekend. And um, get lots of projects dug out and dug into. Bye. <laughs>